What's up guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're checking out Girls' Generation again and we're doing something different. Uh, we are creating a, a series uh, which is just simply going to be called B-Sides because there are, are uh, still groups that we've been checking out so far that we haven't heard B-Sides from. Uh, and I was trying to figure out how we're going to do it. You know, are we going to just knock it all out by doing an album reaction or are we going to pick apart? Uh, little by little and I decided to just do little by little because album reactions uh, take up a lot of time and they're very uh, they're just very time consuming uh, the the length of them just makes them them uh, harder to deal with uh, in my free time so we're gonna pick we're gonna pick at it little by little plus why try to knock everything out at one in one go let's just you know we we're here for the long run so let's just you know go uh, uh, take these uh, take it slowly so uh, I did do a little research in this because girls generation does have so men uh, so much material uh, I did do a, a, I checked the internet for you know people's favorite uh, b-sides from them and looked at several lists uh, and made a list of my own from that now I'm assuming though no, I, I couldn't find a poll uh, so essentially they're probably just you know people you know a particular person's point of view on it but it's a place to start at least right I'm sure you guys are gonna have recommendations as well so we're gonna start with this one uh, which I pulled from one of those lists uh, and it's called goodbye uh, we did hear mr. mister from this album and I haven't heard anything else so all right let's check this out uh, girls generation goodbye Okay. Love the instrumental. Whoa. I love it. Real band. And they brought in guitar. Holy shit. We have not heard a song like this from them, which is why I wanted to check out B-Sides because you never know. I'm, you know, all these groups do all different kinds of songs, right? Whoa, I really love this and I'm it's I'm already starting to worry about the pre-chorus and the pre-chorus the bridge cuz right now it's just a simple vibing tune. I love their voices, the processing. It's just really nice to hear them like this. So All right, let's let's let this go back and hear what they do with that guitar in the second verse. I love the guitar. There's two guitars. I'm gonna wait. It's a vibe, dude. Okay, I'm going to pause here before we get into this uh, into this bridge because I'm a little worried about it because the song so far is just a nice total vibe. It's a real, uh, those are real players playing real instruments. It's really, really cool. And what I love most about it is that the vocals... Not just because they can sing. We know that. It's the take on the vocals. There's not a lot of craziness, right? There's some really nice harmonies in the back. There's a little bit of ad-libbing going on, but not much. It's just them singing. And I, I got to... The first thing I started thinking about when that second chorus hit is I really, really needed a song like this from Girls' Generation because Girls' Generation, uh, even though they blow me away, and like I've said before, my favorite song from them so far is Hoot, uh, I still have to be in the mood for that, right? Like, I don't have a go-to yet. 
this is a go-to because it's just them singing. It's really, really cool. Okay, let's see what happens in this bridge and see if SM does the SM thing or not. I hope they don't because it's a vibe. All right, let's go back a little bit and uh, see what the bridge offers. Nice ad libs. Okay, we're pausing right there. They didn't do the SM thing. Thank, thankfully, thankfully, they let the song like live in itself. Holy shit, that was the perfect bridge for that. The 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 vocals in the back are so so satisfying. Again, it's. It's a song. The reason why I'm vibing with this song so much is because it's just I feel like I can just hear them sing, right? They're not like going after my throat. Like it's just them singing, which is really awesome. I need to hear all these backups in the background. All right, let's go back. Ah, uh, further back. In the background. Beautiful. And then a climactic chorus. Drummer's doing um, double time um, hi hats now. There might even be a tambourine, actually. I love it so much. The longer outro. Whoa. They just faded out the instrumental. That was perfect. That doesn't happen. We've heard, it's happened once. I forgot what group it was. You guys can remind me. There was a group we reacted to, and the song had a full fade-out, a full uh, song fade-out. That doesn't happen in K-pop. It really should happen more. It used to happen all the time uh, in earlier um, in earlier uh, eras, uh, in earlier generations of music. It doesn't happen very much anymore, but the, it's perfectly suited that song that they had, and that's really, really cool. But just like the other one, uh, let's hear this again. I feel like it was too short. And it stops here. Yeah, it should have been twice as long, uh, a little bit longer. But that's a small thing. It's uh, kudos to them for doing it uh, in the first place. That was really, really cool. Okay, yes, this is a really, really nice vibe. You get a, a nice little solid uh, melody. Do it with a guitar and with that uh, the keys in the back. The bass uh, went off as well. A nice vibey drummer and good vocals over it. Not a lot of extra stuff. It's just a solid song. And... Like I said, this hits me kind of like a, the way a twice, uh, the way twice in general hits me. Other groups, like I have to be in the mood for them, right? Or I have to want to hear Mama Moo, or I have to hear, you know, like there's there's certain vibes I want to be in. But twice, uh, out of all the groups we've heard so far, they're just always a go-to. Like it doesn't matter what mood I'm in. I put on twice and I instantly feel better, or it matches the vibe. Like if it's just background music, whatever. It's just I instantly just I know I can just go to them, right? It, it's always satisfying if once I once I hit play on them. This song is 
of, in that vein as well. This is a song that I very much needed from Girls Generation, uh, and I'm, it's awesome to find it on the first B side listen. And also, we're gonna check out another one immediately after this. So <laughs> I have a list made up, and uh, I don't normally go like all in at once. I was gonna do a Mama Moo one, but we're gonna do another Girls Generation tonight because this was really, really refreshing to hear from them. But yeah, this is my go-to now. When I when you hear uh, uh, Girls Generation, it's gonna be this song because it doesn't matter what I'm doing. I can put this song on and just vibe with it. It's really, really, really awesome. Anyway, really enjoyed this. Glad we started this uh, series today. If you enjoyed this content, please like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you next time. Peace. <laughs>